Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here today. We're looking at the Latin Vulgate, also known as the Biblia Sacra. And this is a 1573 edition, just a few years after that Council of Trent, 17 year long Council of Trent ended. And this would be an example from Luke of the Vulgate written in Latin. You can see that it had some marginal notes, marginal references, again, written in Latin. And it doesn't feel like the rag cotton paper that you're so often acquainted with with some of these older Bibles. Now it may be because it's it's obviously held up very well. I mean, I don't see any wormholes, anything like that. The lining is just fantastic on this thing. Like you just, it doesn't have any bleed through or anything. And it's kind of a smaller Bible. I'm going to compare it to my normal reading Bible here, the King James large print from Cambridge. And you can see that it's quite a bit smaller. Now this would have been done by Jerome in the fourth century. He was considered to be a master linguist, especially in Hebrew. It did have some other influences. Some people say Septuagint influences. Other people say Old Latin influences. Of course, most of the editions would have what's known as the Monarchian prologues in the front. So this is the edition of the Bible that was prevalent through most of the West for well over a millennia. And the Catholic Church deemed this as infallible. And that was in response to all the Bibles coming out in the vernacular or in the common people's language during the time of the Reformation. So this is a copy. You can see it's just a little off-centered. I'm not sure if you can catch that. But uh, printing, you know, it just hadn't been a long time printing been going. And you can see that it has the page numbers up at the top. This is page 10, 21. And it doesn't have like any explanations like when chapter 10 starts, it's in Roman numeral. It doesn't have like many of like the English Bibles trying to expand on scripture as far as expounding on it, I should say. And, uh, but it does have references, and I think that's kind of neat. Anyhow, the 1573 Latin Vulgate, the Biblia Sacra. God bless you. Just keep reading the word of Jesus Christ. We love you.